countries around the world are now facing a serious health crisis, which has been amplifying all the socioeconomic problems that already existed. In Brazil, this is no different. As polarization increases, people tend to see economic growth and social development as opposite goals, when in reality, both things must and do go hand in hand. When we look at our problems rationally and the evidence of what works, we find out that we need to combine the ideals of both capitalism and socialism. The main goal of each country must be to end poverty and reduce social inequalities because we know they stem from unequal opportunities. When the competition to achieve our goals is unfair as it is now, people have the right to dream limited. In the last centuries, capitalism, in association with scientific and technological innovation, has revealed itself as the best producer of wealth, as well as of solutions to combating diseases and hunger. In capitalism, people are free to think, the economy is dynamic and the solutions creative. Yet, capitalism requires regulation for the competition to be fair. In addition, the tendency of unruly capitalism is to increase inequality, with the rich growing richer much faster than the poor. Capitalism requires a redistribution system and a welfare state. People cannot prosper without food and on minimal conditions. Effective public health and education systems must be created and strengthened in every country. Basic income, which is back to the agenda because of the COVID-19 pandemic, is a good example of a policy that combines the ideals of both capitalism and socialism, allowing people to meet their basic needs with the freedom to choose what they need the most. In a free society, we are better able to find the solution. In a just society, these solutions can reach everybody.